Good morning everybody, hope you're doing well this morning. Hope you guys stay tuned to the channel for more second date updates on the tents. Uh, look out for my uploads Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And uh, yeah, enjoy. This is the second date update on the 10 with Ramiro, Pebbles, Melissa, and Leroy, the Get Up Crew. Hot 96.9. Hi, Val. Hello. Uh, you're looking for Ricky? Yes. Okay, talk okay. to us. What happened? Okay, um, so I'm a little confused mm-hmm. because, you know, we'd been hanging out for like a month, maybe even a little longer, and I thought we had like a great thing going. A whole month? Okay, um, <laughs> th- anything weird happened the last time you guys hung out or? Well... Okay, so I might have gotten him in some trouble with his job, but, like, I don't think it ended up being a big deal, so. (laughs) You got him in trouble with his job, and you don't think it was a big deal, really. What what happened? Okay, so the last time I stayed over, he was on call for his HVAC job, and we were about to have sex, and his phone just kept ringing and ringing and ringing, and I was getting, like, really pissed off, honestly. (laughs) And I was like, listen, I was like, if you want to you have to put your phone down. And he did. <laughs> I mean, he made the choice. Okay. You know? But the next day when he went, you know, we were hanging out and we were at my dad's house and he told me that his boss chewed him out and that he almost got fired for not answering his call the day before. <laughs> <laughs> really? And, and that was the last time I saw him. And so I'm like, I'm, maybe that has something to do with it. Maybe that has something to do with that. Exactly. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah, okay. They're like, listen, if you want a bone, put down the phone, and uh, and he does. <laughs> he made the <laughs> choice. He made the choice. I gave him a decision, and he decided. That's right, amazing. Right, that right. Really he, That's yeah. great. He, des- <laughs> he decided to get fired. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> he might have gotten fired for this. <laughs> I, I don't, I really, I don't think he did, but I mean, I'm not exactly sure because I haven't heard from him. He's right. been answering my calls. <laughs> yeah, he might but be like, I really... I feel like I would, he would have said something, right? Right, yeah, yeah. He would have said, this f***ing girl cost me my job. Block. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? It, maybe not. Maybe not. Just We're going to try and call him, and if he answers for us, just be ready to apologize. That's all I'm saying, because I feel like that's what's going to happen. I mean, fair, fair. All right, now stay quiet. We're going to call him. Hi, this is Ricky. Uh, hi, Ricky. Perfect. Uh, this is Romero, Pebbles, and Melissa calling you from Hot 96.9, the radio station. Um, can I explain to you why we're calling? It's actually a, a really good reason. We got your phone number from somebody. Oh, hold on. Start over. What's what's the address and the issue? What's happening? Okay, so no, no, no. We're calling you. This isn't a work thing. We're calling you from a radio station, and we're asking you. What we do is we do we we put people on dates together. So we got your number from a girl who knows you and would love to go on a date with you and she feels like you have a chemistry so basically we'll tell you her name it's not going to be a surprise we'll tell you her name if you agree to go on a date with this girl who you know then you will let you pick the day the place the time all that stuff for dinner so whatever restaurant you want and we'll pay for all the food and the drinks that you guys have just to see if you guys hit it off okay uh what do i have to do to get a free meal Beautiful. Yes. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, a free meal and free drinks, by the way. With just say yes to a date with Val. Remember Val? Uh, <laughs> you woke me up for this. Uh, can I? Can you just tell her that you couldn't get in contact with me or something? Yeah. Yeah. yeah we told her that. Uh, well, we spoke to her and she told us that um, she got you in trouble at work and possibly maybe got you fired or something. So she she wants to apologize. <sighs> yeah, that was up, but. That wasn't even the reason I blocked her, honestly. That wasn't the reason that you blocked her? So what the hell happened? (sighs) Well, the last time uh, I saw her, I was picking her up, uh, and we were at her dad's house. Mm -hmm. And he just explained that her her parents were divorced, and they f***ing hate each other. Yeah. And so it was kind of weird in general, but... At one point, her dad pulled me aside and just said that, like, I should break up with her. And you, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Your dad, her, her dad told you to break up with Val, his daughter? 
He said he's just like her mother and that she's going to end up f***ing my life up. Those are her words. Oh, my wow. God. What the f***? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, f- blocking down. Yeah. So Ricky Val's <laughs> on the phone right now, and she just heard what you said. Yeah. What the <laughs> f- do you mean? He said I'm gonna f- up your life. I mean, it, uh, listen. Yeah, this is awkward. Um, <laughs> now you don't have anything to say. I don't know. He just opened up. He, he likes me. What did he say? Um. Well. I don't know. He just said that you're just like your mother and that she was going to end up destroying my life. What the f***? <laughs> Wait, well, so what happened between your parents, Val? I mean... Did your mom destroy your really, dad's life? <laughs> I don't I don't know exactly. Like, I was really young when they got divorced. I just remember that they were, like, fighting all the time, like, basically about everything. Ah. Uh, I can tell you. He told me. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you mean he told you? <laughs> I don't know. He just opened up to me. He likes me. Wait, so he, so he told you why they, what did he say? To, uh, why did he say they divorced? He just said that her mother was a terrible wife and that oh my God. he basically was working his ass off every day yeah. to make money for the family and that she would stay home, not do shit. She wouldn't cook. She wouldn't clean. She wouldn't basically Damn. spend all their money and even <laughs> after they got divorced <laughs> she would always be asking him for extra money that's why he lives in a trailer park he spends all his money okay. on your mom even now <laughs> Jesus. Okay, but, uh, even if that was true like what does that have to do about like with me that, that's a solid question well he told me that you're just like your mom and w- how she was at your age and that he didn't want to see what happened to him happened to me <laughs> <laughs> That is such bullshit. <laughs> I mean, he's probably just pretending to be nice to you. Uh, he probably thinks I'm just too good for you, and he uh, was trying to get you to go away. Yeah, the exa- <laughs> reverse psychology. He tested, and you failed. <laughs> uh, I don't think so, because he told me that your sister has a better head on her shoulders and that I should date her. Uh, <laughs> what the uh, f***? What the f***? Are you kidding me? My dad is such a f***ing idiot, and you're a Asked for listening to him instead of talking to me about it. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, now he is talking to you about it. What if you guys discuss this? You know, because Val didn't do anything technically to you, Ricky, except for almost get you fired. But besides that, <laughs> <laughs> this is like, you know, maybe Val and her dad have issues or her dad clearly is still mad at Val's mom or whatever. Anyway, free date, free dinner. You guys discuss it. See if you can get past this. Honestly, I'm good. Everything her dad was saying actually made sense. That's why I just. <laughs> you're, a f-ing idiot. you're a f-ing pussy. I hate you. Oh, see exactly. Well, that your turned dad really quickly. Said that you'd get mean if you didn't get your way, just like your mom. <laughs> oh, <go laughs> yourself. Exactly. <laughs> the second date update on the ten. Weekday mornings at six ten, seven ten, eight ten, and nine ten. If you need a second date update, email us. Get up crew at hot ninety six nine boston dot com. Boston, get ready to ignite your senses. Firebrand Cannabis is sparking up excitement with their grand opening on August 1st. Right across from South Station on the corner of Beach and Atlantic. Yo, it's Romero from Hot 96.9. Join me live at Firebrand Cannabis from 3 to 5 for an afternoon blaze of fun, music, and exclusive ticket giveaways. It's going to be fun, baby. Discover the finest selection of premium cannabis products and let their expert bud tender guide your experience. Whether you're a seasoned connoisseur or new to the scene, Firebrand is your destination for convenience, quality, and community. Don't miss out. Light up your day with us and score some hot tickets to the coolest events in town. Firebrand Cannabis. Sparking joy across Boston. See you there. Please consume responsibly. This product may cause impairment and may be habit forming. There may be health risks associated with consumption of this product. This product has not been analyzed or approved by the FDA. There is limited information on the side effects of using this product, and there may be associated health risks. Marijuana use during pregnancy and breastfeeding may pose potential harms. It is against the law to drive or operate machinery when under the influence of this product. Keep this product away from children. There may be health risks associated with consumption of this product. Marijuana can impair concentration, coordination, and judgment. The impairment effects of edible marijuana may be delayed by two hours or more. In case of accidental ingestion, call the Poison Control Hotline at 1-800-222-1222 or 911. This product may be illegal outside of Massachusetts. It's a nasty license number, MR284843. The following is a high-five moment from HighFiveCasino.com. Welcome to Burger Yippee. Would you like a hot apple pie? 
pie today? Yes, yes, yeah, I won! Woohoo! So that's a yes on the apple pie? I just went big time playing High Five Casino on my phone. Real cash prizes, free daily rewards, over 1,200 games. Yeah. So yes or no on the apple pie? Whoa! <laughs> I won again! I'll take that as a yes. Drive around. Have you had your High Five moment today? Only at HighFiveCasino.com. High Five Casino is a social casino. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited. Play responsibly. Conditions apply. See website for details. High Five Casino. You've heard the saying, better, faster, cheaper. You can only pick two. But when it comes to customer service, AI is changing everything. Intercom's AI-first support platform won't make anyone compromise. Customers get a 70% faster first response time, and half of those questions are resolved instantly, which gives agents more time for the complex issues. And leaders get 31% more efficient teams and happier customers. Better, faster, or cheaper? Go ahead. Pick all three. Intercom. AI-first customer service. This is the second date update on the 10 with Ramiro, Pebbles, Melissa, and Leroy, the Get Up Crew. Hot 96.9. Tony. Hey. You're looking for uh, Marissa? Yep. Okay, what happened? All right, so i um, been seeing Marissa for probably like two months now, mm-hmm. and um, but she hasn't got back to me since we went to a wedding. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> what did you do to f*** it up at the wedding? I mean, look, like it was, it was a wedding night, and... It, it was an open bar, and I definitely had fun with that. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so you, so you, so, so you got <laughs> faced. <laughs> I, I, I will say that I definitely enjoyed the open bar. Um, yeah. <laughs> but, and, you know, but so did Marissa. You know, everybody was having a good time. It was a wedding, you know, and uh, even the older people, you know, that normally suck the fun out of a, out of an evening. Yeah. They were uh, <laughs> they were enjoying themselves too. You know. Okay. So. Well, but how like. How much did you enjoy yourself? Like, do you remember everything or? I mean, I don't remember every single detail of the night, you know, but, um, you know, if you're asking me if I, you know, anybody else and like, oh boy, <laughs> no. how did you know? So that? That's literally what I was asking. Okay. So, uh, um, you got drunk at a wedding, but she got drunk at the wedding too. Everybody was having fun at this wedding. You don't remember anything sticking out and you definitely did not have sex with anybody else, which was. <laughs> She's always a default at a wedding for some reason. I don't know why, but um, okay. that is correct. <laughs> okay, if, if you're gonna stick with that, then we're gonna have to believe you. It, we'll, we'll give her a call for you next. All right, Tony. All right. Hello. Hi, is, is this Marissa? Uh, speaking, who's this? Okay, beautiful, uh, Marissa. This is the Get Up Crew. Romero, Pebbles, and Melissa calling you from the radio station, Hot ninety six nine. Hi, I'm sorry. I don't have time for whatever this is right now. Can you call me back in like 15 minutes? No, no, no. This will be this will be super, super quick. It's it's just um, we just need to ask you a question. We got your phone number from somebody. Okay. Okay, hurry up, please. What do you need? Okay, wh- what do we need? Okay, so we got a phone call. A-, a gentleman that you know and feels like he has a good chemistry with you would love to go on a date with you. And we're calling to ask you because we'll pay for whatever date you choose if, if you say yes. So we'll tell you the guy's name. And if you say yes, then we'll set it up for you to tell us for whenever you want to go on this date, wherever, uh, whatever time, and we'll pay for everything. And if it's no, okay, it's do, no. Do I have to guess or something? No, no, no. You, you don't even have to guess. We'll tell you the guy. His name is uh, Tony. Oh, you got to be f***ing kidding me. That disgusting piece of shit wants to see me again. That disgusting mm, yeah. piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> disgusting? Hey, oh, no. Oh, we came God. in so early. What, what the f- what is happening? Are you saying that? Okay, hold on. So, so, so Tony's on the phone, Mar- Marissa. Um, so uh, you were supposed to stay quiet. By the way, you told me you would, but um, okay. God. Well, yeah, seriously. Why did why did why didn't you stay quiet? I, I was planning on staying quiet until she called me the disgusting piece of shit. What the f- did I do? <laughs> Are you fucking serious? You don't remember what you did at my cousin's wedding? <laughs> oh God. Oh, um, no. What did what did I do? You idiot! You took a sh- in the urinal in the men's room. Okay. You what? <laughs> Jesus. Did, oh my! Did you? You took a sh- in the urinal in the men's room? No way. Um, mm-hmm. sh- yes, I did no! take a sh- in the urinal. I forgot about not. that. <laughs> How do you forget about sh- in a urinal? <laughs> yeah. That was a open bar, man. You know, and they had good alcohol. <laughs> it's not the cheap okay. bullshit, man. We're talking Tito's. All right, wow. we got you. So, so Marissa, okay, I drank Tito's, uh, yeah. and that not once has done that for me. But okay, you never <laughs> in a urinal, Melissa. No, no, I'm just saying. Okay, so Marissa, wow. how did you know that? It, how do you know that it's Tony's 
in the urinal. Oh, well, at one point, I saw all of these guys, like, including my cousin, yeah. running to the bathroom like little boys, and they come out, and they're giggling, and they showed me a picture and said, look oh, at your, look, look at the wedding gift your boyfriend oh, left. Oh, no, <laughs> picture evidence. Oh, Tony. Why? Just why? Tony. Hold on. No, I remember now. This is actually not my fault. This is your uncle's uh-huh. fault. What? It's, oh, hold on. It's, it's her uncle's fault that you <laughs> in a urinal. No, no. The, it was one of those, like, real luxe portable Johns, and they, they uh, no, anyway, the bathroom had one stall and one urinal, uh-huh. and your uncle was in the stall with some other dude and some random chick doing blow, and I just kept knocking on the door for them to finish. <laughs> what? No, that's, like, it was an emergency, like, it was an emergency <laughs> boo-boo, and, uh, but they wouldn't leave, and so I couldn't hold it any longer, so okay. it's not my fault. It's actually her uncle's. I remember this now. <laughs> no, you're the one. You I'm having are the a drunk flashback. In the urinal. I, I don't care what my uncle was doing. It's f***ing disgusting. It was either that or my pants. <laughs> oh, so, so her uncle's... <laughs> Does your uncle do coke and and <laughs> yeah. in the bathroom stalls? Just curious. No, I don't care. I just, All right. It's so fucking gross. All right. Mm-hmm. I'm just wondering if he uh, randomly made that up because that's yeah. kind of an elaborate story. But okay. This is one fucking time. Stop making it sound like I do this all the time. It was an emergency. Like it's not oh like I God. wanted to do that. Outside? Why didn't he go but outside? <laughs> Wait. Anyway, your Monday morning quarterbacking. It, it, <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I doubt that the, this exact situation of him taking a sh- in a urinal because your uncle, your uncle was doing cocaine in the stall will happen again. I don't believe it. And even if he was, it doesn't matter. You're the one that chose to take a sh- in the urinal. <laughs> mm-hmm. you're, you're it was your uncle's f- f- fault. It was your fault. <laughs> no, I wish it was my fault. It was your sh- you know what? F- you ask. The second date update on the 10th. Weekday mornings at 610, 710, 810, and 910. If you need a second date update, email us. Get up crew at hot969boston.com. Boston, get ready to ignite your senses. Firebrand Cannabis is sparking up excitement with their grand opening on August 1st. Right across from South Station on the corner of Beach and Atlantic. Yo, it's Romero from Hot 96.9. Join me live at Firebrand Cannabis from 3 to 5 for an afternoon blaze of fun, music, and exclusive ticket giveaways. It's going to be fun, baby. Discover the finest selection of premium cannabis products and let their expert bud tender guide your experience. Whether you're a seasoned connoisseur or new to the scene, Firebrand is your destination for convenience, quality, and community. Don't miss out. Light up your day with us and score some hot tickets to the coolest events in town. Firebrand Cannabis. Sparking joy across Boston. See you there. Please consume responsibly. This product may cause impairment and may be habit forming. There may be health risks associated with consumption of this product. This product has not been analyzed or approved by the FDA. There is limited information on the side effects of using this product, and there may be associated health risks. Marijuana use during pregnancy and breastfeeding may pose potential harms. It is against the law to drive or operate machinery when under the influence of this product. Keep this product away from children. There may be health risks associated with consumption of this product. Marijuana can impair concentration, coordination, and judgment. The impairment effects of edible marijuana may be delayed by two hours or more. In case of accidental ingestion, call the poison control hotline at 1 800 222 1222 or 911. This product may be illegal outside of Massachusetts. It's Mass State License Number MR284843. The following is a high five moment from highfivecasino.com. I won! Yahoo! Private, put down your phone. This is the army. Sort. High Five Casino is a social casino. It's on your phone. Goes wherever you go. I win free spins, cash, prizes, free daily rewards, over 1,200 games. I won again. Platoon, present cell phone. High Five. High Five. Casino. Casino. Win at High Five Casino. Com. High Five Casino is a social casino. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited. Play responsibly. Conditions apply. See website for details. High Five Casino. Baseball fans are a sentimental bunch, and it's proven in the generations you see at every game. Dads and daughters, grandparents with their kids and their grandchildren, even the couple who's been coming to games and scorekeeping by hand for decades. Here's to keeping that tradition going, and thanks to Ticketmaster, you can. As an authorized ticket marketplace for Major League Baseball, we've got tickets to make sure that tradition for seeing the Boston Red Sox stays strong. All the best seats, all season long. He's safe! Because if there's one thing we know, it's that baseball is better when you watch it live with the people you love being with the most. So make it a full count and bring the whole family out to the game. See the full schedule and get Boston Red Sox tickets today at Ticketmaster.com MLB. 
And that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the second date update. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. Make sure you have it to set on all so you don't miss any of my uploads. Have a nice day, and I'll catch you guys next time.